Well, the 20 people investigated by Governor Ron DeSantis' election police, then arrested, are now moving through the court system. Investigator Lewis Bolden has been breaking developments on this story for weeks now. And Lewis, the third person arrested from Central Florida, had a court hearing yesterday. That's correct, Lisa. Jerry Lee Foster had an arraignment yesterday. His attorney waived his appearance and entered a plea of not guilty. All three of the Central Florida defendants, like the others, say the same thing. They thought they were eligible to vote. And immediately they went to work. It's been just over a month since Governor Ron DeSantis announced his newly formed election police investigated 20 people for illegally voting in the 2020 election. And now they're going to pay the price for it. To date, 19 people have been arrested and there is still an active arrest warrant for one, according to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Of the three people arrested in Central Florida by the governor's team, 72-year-old Jerry Lee Foster was the last to be scheduled for an arraignment yesterday. His attorney entered a plea of not guilty, and the probable cause affidavit News 6 uncovered explains why. Foster told an FDLE agent he thought his rights had been restored. It's the same thing News 6 heard from two other defendants. Peter Washington. Did you intentionally cast an illegal ballot? No. And Michelle Stribling. I do right by the law. I don't get in trouble no more. Foster was arrested in 2009 for use of a computer to solicit or lure a child to engage in sexual conduct. He was sentenced in September of 2010 and served one year and one month in prison, according to state records. He was also required to register as a sex offender. Foster told an FDLE agent that he heard on the news in 2020 that Governor DeSantis blessed all convicted felons with the right to vote. But this is what actually happened. In 2018, Florida voters passed Amendment 4 to automatically restore the right to vote for people with felony convictions after completing their sentences, except those convicted of murder or a felony sex offense. According to the affidavit, Foster completed a Florida voter application and checked the box, I affirm I am not a convicted felon, or if I am, my rights have been restored. According to the affidavit, he then received a voter information card with a voter ID number, then voted in the 2020 election. Now, if someone is convicted of murder or a felony sex offense, their rights are not automatically restored. There is a clemency process they have to go through. Advocates for those with felony convictions say the state needs to have a centralized database that people can access to easily check on their status. Mm. Yeah, and Louis, some of those being arrested are, uh, who were re arrested are being represented pro bono now? Uh, yes, we don't know about Jerry Foster, but okay. some are. We know Michelle Stribling and Peter Washington are being represented pro bono by a local attorney. He is part of the Attorneys Guild, and they reached out to several of the 19 other people who were arrested to offer their mm -hmm. services. So it is going to be really interesting to mm -hmm. see how this mm -hmm. all plays out in court and also leading up to the midterm election. Yeah, and what if any changes are made moving forward so people can find out easier, quicker, whether they are eligible or not? Right. We have yeah. not seen those changes yet, but hopefully some yeah. will be on the way. Mm -hmm.